78-year-old David Harlow's body was found by police on Manor Lane in Howe Zowin after his brother and neighbours raised the concerns that he had not seen them recently. He lived a very simple life. He didn't have expensive material things. Um, he was just a lovely, lovely old man. Upon entering the house, the police discovered that a burglar had tied up the pensioner and left him for dead and stole £550 and withdrew more money later on from his bank card. The house had been ransacked and the 78-year-old was tied to a chair with a telephone cable. The handle of a knife and the handle of a pair of scissors and the phone cable were found at the scene with DNA from his killer, Adris Mohammed. A major investigation was launched by the police and they discovered Mohammed had targeted Mr. Varlow three times in total. On the 24th of October 2021, Mr. Varlow phoned 999 when he heard that glass was being smashed outside his property at 10.30. When he turned a light on, he heard the burglar run away. When the police went to the scene, they carried out house-to-house -house inquiries, but there was no CCTV evidence, and Mohammed was never a suspect. I never missed any of your birthdays, so it was very difficult. Last November, not receiving my birthday card as I normally would. Mohammed then returned to the property at 5.20 on the 3rd of November. He broke in through a window and tied up the victim, and then he made off with the bank card. He'd also got the PIN number from Mr. Varlow before he died. Mr. Varlow would go on to die from a heart attack brought on by the stress of the ordeal that he had suffered. We think he's expecting to find uh, Mr. Varlow asleep, uh, but Mr. Varlow was awake. He tied him up, uh, tied him up in a chair. Uh, we know that he threatened him uh, probably with a knife uh, to get his PIN number. And, um, and before leaving the house, um, cut the phone line so Mr Varlow couldn't uh, call for help but he left him tied up and we're saying that uh, he left him there uh, to die. Straight away went to a cash point machine, drew out some money and then over the course of the next nine days together with other people drew out over £8,000 uh, from his account either from the cash point or buying goods and then, uh, and then pawning them. In a bizarre development in the story as well, Mohammed even returned back to the home on the 11th of November with another person called O'Shea Swan. When they returned to the property, Mr. Varla was dead. They untied him and stole a second bank card. And sadly, his body wasn't found for several weeks. Which is a big reminder of how it's always good to check in with loved ones if they live alone as well. And they're getting older and when he did have family in the available area, it's a very sad way to have passed away. In total, they stole £8,000 from his stolen card. And police used CCTV to track Mohammed and seen him withdrawing money minutes after the burglary. And also caught him on CCTV at cash converters selling gold. Mohammed was arrested after the DNA on the knife, scissors and cable matched his at the scene. And Swan, his associate, was found thanks to analysis of mobile phone data showing that Mohammed had been in contact with him. After the trial, Mohammed, aged 44 from Icknell Port Road, Birmingham, was found guilty of attempted burglary of Mr. Varlow's home on the 24th, aggravated burglary on the 3rd of November, murder and also fraud. He was convicted of a further burglary on the 11th of November. Swan, his associate, 42 years old, from Winston Green Road, was convicted on the 11th of November of burglary and also fraud. They will be sentenced next Wednesday for their crime. Mr. Varlow's family said today that David was a disabled pensioner and he was a much-loved brother, brother-in-law and also uncle. Words cannot describe the stress that we have felt going through the murder trial and understanding what had happened. Detective Inspector Ranj Sanga said that Mr. Harlow suffered an appalling ordeal. He was tied up and left for dead by men who was only interested in stealing from him. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story and my condolences to the family and friends of Mr. Varlow. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to follow online as well at Scar City Studios and Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. Peace.